This week it really is all about location, location, location. We're looking for a house for Sarah and Peter in Newcastle upon Tyne. They want a plush pad in a posh part of town. But are they pushing their luck? Yesterday got off to a good start. We saw three properties. The first provided lots of space in the right area. Definitely a possibility. I think it's exciting. Then the penthouse with that balcony. She thinks she'll go mad and jump over the edge. Yeah, I think she'll, she'll slip and fall over. And finally, the noisy house in Jesmond. I like it, but that sounds very much <laughs> like a train. <laughs> Our guys need loads of space to accommodate their art. We want to show them how much further their £250,000 would go outside the area they currently live in. We're crossing the Tyne Bridge South. 15 minutes out of town and we've discovered a renovated farmhouse in Sunnyside Village. A spacious home with room for those pictures. A snip at £225,000. This morning we're starting off on a totally different tangent. Are we insane? <laughs> that remains to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> Peter and Sarah take an instant dislike to our choice. In fact, the only thing they like is the smallest room of the house. I love the idea of having a jacuzzi bath. It's yeah. definitely an idea we should take with us. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty groovy. I'm not sure about the rest of it, but... But this place is huge, and that's what they wanted. We think their judgement is swayed by the decor and furnishings. I don't like it. Yeah, because this is now a cup of tea, is it? Well, what do you think? It's a beautiful-looking house. Double garage, big garden, own gate. We've only travelled 15 minutes out of town. 225 seems like a lot of house to me. I don't know. It is someone else's dream uh, realised 100%. I think it's just for people of an older generation, that's all. I think we're not quite there yet, are we? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> across the Tyne Bridge and we follow the river eight miles east towards the North Sea. Once a bustling port, North Shields is an up-and-coming area where sailors' pubs and trendy bars sit side by side. But there's one thing that we forgot to tell our house buyers. The Riverside Loft apartment we're showing them isn't quite built yet. This building site will soon look like this. And we're interested in one of the corner plots. We're the first to view the lofts at Brewery Bond. Contemporary living could cost up to £350,000. If you like the concept, we could perhaps cherry pick the best flat with the best view and the best part of the building. Uh -huh. yeah. I like the height. Will the ceiling height stay the same as this? The ceiling height will definitely stay the same, yeah. Because it was industrial space, not domestic space, everything tends to be on an industrial scale. These pillars will stay in the building and you'll see the, the huge girders which hold it up. Is that something which appeals? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I like the idea of a loft. I must admit that I do. The price includes kitchen, bathroom and a designer, so Sarah and Peter can create an interior to suit their lifestyle and their art. It's actually more helpful coming outside, I think, than it yeah, is inside. Definitely, isn't mm. it? definitely. This glass extension will double the space inside. We've suggested buying two ground floor apartments for a total of £220,000. That's more floor space than anything we've seen so far. We would get this square, this square and this square. Yeah. Yes, and, exactly. And that square. The next one behind yeah. as well. Yeah. Back in the city, the developers have created a show flat in a previous conversion. It's meant to give a feel for the height, space and the quality of fittings buyers can expect. Cool, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think maybe. Maybe not convinced, maybe. I think I might be less sure, actually. I think I could move in here now, really. <laughs> you look quite horrified by it. Maybe, I don't know. It's my ideal kind of flat, really. The kind I read about magazines go, yeah, I could live there. So, do we have a problem here? Peter would put a deposit down now, but Sarah's unsure. I'm actually guilty painting. You know what I mean? Having a studio. The mess. Yeah, and where are you going to put it? In the corner. Make a studio and you'd lose half your space. Make a spare room and you'd lose... half the space, is no, it? No, but you'd lose a chunk. You'd lose the impressive cathedral-like kind of small village church-like <laughs> feel that you've got going on. Yeah, you there? You know, well, OK. That's my kitchen. Well, not Get out of it. I don't know. Mm. We'll see. 
We'll see. So, let's try waterfront living that's closer to the city centre. The quayside here is being regenerated with bars, sculpture and riverside living. The Mariner's Wharf flat has three bedrooms, a cool investment for £285,000. The whole development was sold the day planning permission was granted. The asking price now is double the cost when it was built three years ago. We think it's overpriced and they could get it on budget at £250,000. Mm -hmm. Hasn't got the features, but we thought that it had decent wall space. Uh huh. But something tells me they're not impressed. Yeah. I'm finding it hard to get excited about this. I'm finding it really hard. What about all this space? It's too clean. It's it's a box. Would you buy a flat just for the view? No, not just for the view. No. But I'd love a flat on the river. I'd love a flat on the river too. And that's not such a bad flat. No, but you know what, I think Peter would love a flat on the river, but in a vague kind of way. A view to die for. Definitely. Yeah, but we could always go to the pub down the road for a view like this. He said it, and we fixed on it, because we thought mm. modern, gallery style, open plan. It's a boy house. What they really want is a much more conventional dream mm. of a family house. Mm. Their own front door, their own garden. When did you know that this wasn't right for you? When we parked. They are more conventional. Yeah. Just because I they're think really they're more conventional than they thought they were. Yes, exactly. The whole time we're here, I'm thinking, yeah, we're here, and all I can think about is the one in Jasmine Dean. Do you fancy a swim? Uh, no, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> a short stroll to one of the nearby bars to decide if they want to look at any of our six properties again. Well, we've seen everything that there is on the market that vaguely suits your requirements. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very vaguely. It seems that all roads lead back to Jasmine. I think they do. Yeah, I think I've seen every house I've ever thought of living in. The more I think about Jasmine Dean, the more I like it, and I can't think of anything I'm faulted on, really. I think so. I think that I would like to walk down there and just check the distance. I would like to take a tape measure and just measure some of the rooms for peace of mind. That's our mission for tomorrow, yeah. yeah. It's day three and we're back in the leafy roads of Jesmond. It's our second look at the best of the bunch, the Victorian terrace that overlooks the park. Jesmond Dean Road is on offer at £225,000. So what's the extra journey time to work? Just an extra 15 minutes. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's see what you make of it this time round. What's your first feeling when you walk back into the house? It's still really nice. Nice? It's fantastic. Get rid of the wood chip, paint it white, it's their own private art gallery. Did you sleep well last night? No. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? That's a great sign. Kept the sink there and put the kitchen across here. That's a big, big wall. This is lovely. This is a real sun trap just here. That's actually got engraving on it. I thought it was just a brass plate. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really nice. They could increase the value by restoring the original features. Every window is painted shut. I mean, whoever painted those ropes was a vandal. If you pull that rope, can you hear that? Yeah. yeah. That's the weight banging inside. It's a really nice sound and it means yeah. the whole thing's working. It just Fantastic. needs stripping. That's really good news. We talked about knocking through to the dining room, but after seeing that flat in North Shields, We've hatched an even more ambitious plan. Think about removing both walls. We oh, can take walls. all the walls out. Oh, right, OK. In which case... And leaving your Leaving a pillar. Here. Yeah. Like you had So your pillar. art could perhaps go on this wall. Yeah. And then we're talking loft apartment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. In Jasmine. I think this should... Removing both internal walls to create one massive room with the stairs in the corner will cost about £6,000. 15 feet. So that's 32, 32 feet. 32 that's foot would be a really exciting. big room. Yeah. That's 10 feet more than we've got in that palatial room that we've already got. Yeah. At this stage in your house hunt, when seriously considering making an offer, take the time to walk round the whole of the outside of the house. Take a careful look at the roof and at the walls. On the roof, you're looking for any slip tiles. And if you're unlucky enough to be looking round in a storm, you'll be able to clearly see whether the gutters work. This house looks very sound, but we have noticed some work above the front of the bay. It doesn't actually worry me, but I would be asking the surveyor what happened, what was done, and would it ever happen again? I think I've made up my mind. Yes, I know. 
I'm getting really worried someone else is going to buy this. I am too. You know, with these houses going in in hours. I know. I think we should just secure this house as quickly as possible. I do, so it I'm, feels like a home. I'm getting really jittery that someone else is about to walk in and offer more money. Yeah. Two other couples are going for a second viewing tonight, but let's not panic and overbid. What's the, the top limit you would be prepared to pay for that house? Uh, 225 to... I would go up to 230, maybe it's a bit more. Right. I want that house. Our professional opinion is that £225,000 is a fair price. But Sarah needs to cool Peter down. He doesn't have to go steaming in at the asking price. They could get it for less. I think we should start at 215 And we would like you to do it as well on our behalf. Right. It's so exciting. <laughs> we are so nervous now. <laughs> We're really nervous. <laughs> Our first offer was turned down, but after three days of haggling, we were able to tell Peter and Sarah the house was theirs for £220,000. We've had the offer accepted. Very exciting. Which is excellent, and it's a bit less than we thought we'd have to pay. So we're going to start doing loads and loads of structural work, taking the house apart, yeah. restarting, but keeping all the original features. But we've got some cunning plans what to do with the house.